let's take a look at the thumb spica splint. Thumb spica. How are we gonna? How are we going to measure this first? What length do we want this? Um, we want to go to the tip. Thumb. Start at the tip of the thumb. Mm -hmm. And again, about two inches from the <laughs> crease. So we're going from the tip of the thumb, and we're taking this, taking this curve about two inches from the antecubital fossa. Mm -hmm. It's about right, about right there. So that's going to be the length of our fiberglass. Correct. Right there. Okay. Yep. What size fiberglass are you using for thumb there. spike? Um, I'm going to be using two inch. And see if as your swelling comes down, if that little bit of rotation ends up bothering you or not. Mm -hmm. So I, I make it a little bit longer. If it is something longer. that ends up being bothersome, we can do a procedure to recut the bone and try I to also make it a thumb piece. Um, the, uh, so that's one approach. The other so approach I use a one inch. Say, and I also I slid it up the side. I'm likely to. I'm likely to. Uh, the other approach would be to say, well, let's let's do what we can to get it uh, better right here off the bat. And, and that, that, thumb, that thumb piece, um, Janelle, is um, stocking that again. Yes, this is actually just for the thumb. Bone into a better position. Spike a splint. We're going to, first step number one is this stocking it. First step to prevent, to help with this, when sweat comes and to keep the skin safe yes. from the stuff that's going to go on top of it. Yep. So, I have this little one inch uh, piece for the thumb. So nice touch, a thumb cover, a thumb stock. In yes, a little thumb sock. Okay. And then what I do is I slit it up the side. So slit it up about, what, six, three, or four inches. I always flip this back. I'm always about um, appearance, so it actually looks Functional and it looks good. So I slide this over your thumb. Your little thumb sock. Yeah. Okay. I actually go past your thumb a little bit. So the thumb and sock. So the so the the, the slit part goes onto the arm, and this folded part is over the tip of my thumb. And she's got oh probably about half an inch extra over the tip of the thumb. Correct. And then for my stockinette for your arm. So this going on first. Yep. Okay, stockinette's next. Then I make a hole for your thumb. So about six inches back. Make a little slit. Just like, just like making snowflakes. Yes. Thumb goes through the hole. Rest your finger straight on through. And look at that. So we've got stockinette now going to my PIP joints and right up to about two fingers below my antecubital fossa. And then with the stockinette, I always make sure there's no wrinkles. Checking for wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Pearl right there. Wrinkle free. Place the fiberglass. It could be fiberglass or plaster. Correct. For the, th for the thumb spica. All right. And how? Where do we start? Where do we start with our placement? So I'm just gonna lay, lay it right here. So I kind of just go out to the very tip. So you just you're just laying it right over the radius. It's just, it's just lay, laying there, mm -hmm. and then you're molding it onto the thumb. And how how do you want my hand to be during this? What position? I want you kind of like if you're holding a can. Like I'm holding a holding can, like yeah. Okay, so like that. So I'm holding a can. So you just right. kind of. Actually, what I do is I'll, I kind of let you relax, and then what I do is I come in and mold you. So my thumb. What what angle should my thumb be as it's as, as you're as you're splitting? As you don't want it, you know, straight up because you know that's really uncomfortable and it's not functional. So you just kind of relaxed. Out to the side. Just relax the side. So just in a neutral, kind of a neutral, neutral position. Yes. I'm gonna flip, flip over on here, just like, just like that. And now we're gonna go for the wrap, and you're, and you're starting your wrap right at the wrist. Correct. Yep. And then yep. I don't usually let the ace wrap 
against the skin just because they're irrit irritating. And what, uh, what, what do you mean by that? Um, just oh, the edges. Oh, oh, you don't get the, um, the Velcro. The Velcro, basically. yeah. Okay, and this is two inch? Two inch. Two, in two inch wrap. Okay, so start at the wrist, a couple of wraps mm -hmm. over there, and now we're going to go on to the thumb. Thumb, yep. Make sure there's no creases, folds. Going almost to the tip, and we're going to start working our way back down. Mm -hmm. And go, now a figure, a little figure eight in yep. there. Go back through the hand. Okay. The wrapping is more complex than I had originally thought. There's a lot of artistry to that. Okay, so let's just take a look at what we have here as this is drying. So that's, there's the position. My thumb is sticking out and my hand in neutral position so that mm -hmm. uh, on Super Bowl Sunday we can still, can still hold a can or, or perhaps a <laughs> bottle with the micro brews that we've got here. So the next step after that initial wrap was rolling back this stockinette mm -hmm. and we've got our second wrap coming. Now the second wrap starting up high. Yes. And I'll work my way back down. Beautiful. Okay. And now she's. Uh, I, I, what I feel is uh, a, a handshake. Can I see your other mm -hmm. hand? Is like like this. This is the this is the sensation that I feel right in there. And she's got pressure pushing in. Not a lot of pressure, but some pressure pushing in. I mean, see right underneath here. Check. Pushing in right in this spot, and it's molding the molding the thumb in. Just kind of relax your. There we go. Thumb spike a splint. We've got this thumb spike a splint on now, and it's hardened and it's dry. It's been on for about 15 minutes, and I can feel the contour against my distal radius. And it actually, it's is really uncomfortable. Not not in that it's got any pressure points, but just that it's a hard surface with pressure on there. And when we put it on, all we used was the fiberglass padding that comes right out of the bag. But I would recommend, as we did with the sugar tong splint, to put on the padding, either, either a couple layers of this Webrill or the fiberglass padding, just to make it more comfortable because...